Hey Frugal Radio fans and good day to you from snowy Canada. A lot of people ask about my antenna setup and how it works with getting signal to all the STRs that I'm running and different radios. So I thought I'd do a quick video to show you. Uh, behind my head here you can see a pole. So there's a metal mast and at the top of that mast is a small antenna with a grand plane connector. And that's what I use for my main antenna. So right now I have uh, two antennas. That's the first one. And uh, I'll show you an image of the second one here shortly. The second antenna is the Slim Jim that I reviewed in uh, one of my previous videos. Slim Jim is just actually balancing off a branch here, just on the outside of the shack. And that's the coax that runs to the inside. So I'll show you what happens when we get in. The other antenna that you see there is a, a Ubiquiti. Um, so that's actually providing the Wi-Fi. It links up to the house Wi-Fi down here in the shack. So here are two computers inside the shack. You can see four screens that are being displayed. So one is displaying ACARS on the left, VDL2 next to it. And then over here we have two trunking systems, one in the 700 megs band, one in the 800 megs band. And those are being powered by four individual SDRs. So let's have a look at those. So the ones handling the uh, aircraft communication systems are these attached to a USB 3 hub. So we have a standard new elect dongle there and we also have an RTL SDR version 3 dongle. So those are feeding the ACARS and the VDL2. Uh, there's another USB hub here and attached to this USB hub is another RTL SDR v3 and actually a generic dongle and um, yeah those are running the trunking systems so those are the SDRs that you can see in operation there both running or all running absolutely fine on USB 3 hubs and connected as you can see via various connectors so you'll see a mixture of F connectors and of BNC connectors and those are connected to my multi-couplers over here we have another couple of SDRs that are running. So this one, actually this one isn't running at the moment, it's plugged in and ready for use. Uh, it's connected to a 700 megahertz antenna which is outside, which unfortunately you couldn't really see as I made the first part of the video. And then here is the AirSpy which is also connected to the multi-coupler. But you'll notice another device in here as well. And this is an FM trap. So that's just to, uh, to block some of the the uh, broadcast FM signals that are coming in. There'll be a review on that at some point on the channel. Then over here, and I apologize for the mass and the cacophony of cables. Here you can see my uh, Stridesburg MCA, I think it's an M28, something like that, uh, multi-coupler. And for some reason, we're not getting a good focus on it, but um, in you have an antenna input. So this is the antenna input here and then you have eight outputs. So these eight outputs are feeding the various scanners. Uh, there's quite a few scanners here, as well as SDRs, uh, as you can see. So there's, uh, there's quite a lot of radio activity in this room. And, uh, and then I also have this Electroline. Um, it's actually a television amp and distributor. It's also eight port, so it provides eight ports. Uh, the white one going in at the top there, that is just a power feed, so that's giving it the 12 volts or whatever it is, 24 volts, I'm not sure, whatever it needs. And uh, and this one, oh, I'm knocking things around too much. The black one coming in here, that is the actual input. So the way my system is wired is the antenna outside is wired into the Electroline amp. The Electroline amp feeds seven scanners and SDRs, but it also feeds the Stridesburg M. Uh, 208 and uh, that then provides another 8 BNC outputs and that's my distribution um, now it's actually not quite enough for me I have more SDRs that are sitting here and I have to I have to borrow connections when I use them because I actually just don't have enough connections at the present time so I need to actually get more antenna stuff up and running here but um, that's just a little bit of how mm -hmm. the signal is distributed within my shack so these are some of the adapters that I use to hook up the multi-couplers to the SDRs and scanners. 
So the first one that you can see here, this is an SMA to BNC adapter. So this takes a male BNC and converts it to a male SMA, which allows it to be plugged into any of the SDRs. Over here, we have the same thing, except it's for an F connector. So it takes a male F connector and it connects the F connector to a SMA male adapter. So again, that is for hooking up to the um, SDRs. And then the last one we have here is just an F connector to BNC adapter. So this is going the other way. If I want to connect any of the F connector cables coming from the Electroline, then uh, it just connects to a BNC here, and then that can be put in any of the scanners. So between the three types of adapters, I can then hook up any of the BNC or F connector uh, cables straight into either an SDR or a scanner. So that's how SDRs and scanners are hooked up inside the Frugal Radio Shack. Right now it's basically one antenna feeding 15 radios, so two 8 port uh, multi-couplers. One is a cheap TV amp and then the second is a much more expensive and certainly not Frugal Stridesburg multi-coupler. Details of the equipment used in this video can be found at frugalradio.com. The link is in the description below and you'll be able to find out more and click through to find out exactly uh, where I got the equipment from. Okay, thanks for watching Frugal Radio today. It's been good to have you back on the channel. Always glad to have you watching. And if you're new here, then please do hit the subscribe button and the like button if you've enjoyed this video. And welcome to Frugal Radio. Thanks very much for joining today. See you next time.